You are lived, Hanson. Thank you. Where are you heading? London. That's a little far for me, but I can take you to Nice. That'll do fine, thanks. Can you spend any time in Nice? That's all I can spend. I've got enough money to try the casino, and if I'm lucky, I can buy my ticket back. If it's money. No, thank you. I've always earned mine. What's the cup for? It's personal. I don't mind getting personal. Right. Name, Nick Warfield. Occupation, I race speedboats. Hobby, racing speedboats. Nationality, British. This cup's the first prize I ever won, my good luck charm. My boat cracked up in the races at Lake Como and left me with nothing except what I have on me. And that should end this conversation. Is this where you live? Very funny. Let me buy you a drink. I need one. By the way, my name's Sandra. the usual. I won't keep you waiting. Just look what Sandra picked up today. Isn't it pretty? She likes them prettier every day. Oh, don't be nasty, Claude. Did he hurt your feelings, sweetie? Just tell me and I'll slap him for you.
I told you never to use that entrance without telling me. But I have found him, Andre. Look at this. You've said that before. What do you think? Yes. This time I think you really have found him, Marcus. But getting him here is another matter. Everything will be arranged, Andre. You know how good I am about these things. That's what I like best about you, Marcus. Thank you, Andre. <laughs> You are free to go now, Monsieur Warfield. How can I ever thank you? By leaving my district. I can hardly wait. I envy you, young man. In what way? In your choice of friends. The damages were paid for yesterday. Yesterday? Then why the hell was I kept here all night? We needed time to verify your story with the Italian authorities. And then, of course, there was a matter of your fine for disturbing the peace. Of course, the bite. How much? That, too, was taken care of. Lucky me. Yes. And your friend also arranged for room at the Hotel de Marronnier. Paid for in advance. And your things are there. How about that? That's mighty generous of her. Well, now that I've saved all this money, I'd be nuts not to try to break the bank at your casino tonight. As long as that's all you break. Six, upstairs to the right, you don't need a key. Dewey convient de lui téléphoner. He says you got a phone call. Any name? Nope. Maybe it was the same guy who sent you the invite. You got a cigarette? Thanks. I hate to cut into your studies, Professor, but as long as you read my mail, what does it say? It says you have to go to a party tonight at a villa of some guy named Marcus August. It's formal. Let's you out, doesn't it? How did you guess? Who is this Marcus August? Search me. I wouldn't think of it. Stick to it, kid. You'll go a long way. Oh, yeah. A package came for you, too. I took it upstairs. It was heavy. Didn't strain yourself, did you? Nah. Atta boy.
I bet you're Nicholas Hawkins. You win. I'm in the room opposite. You always dress like that when you pay good neighbor calls? Oh, only on certain occasions. Like this one. What's in that suitcase? That nasty young man is in my room by mistake. It's addressed to you. That was no mistake, darling. He planned on catching you undressed. He's studying anatomy. His time went wrong. His timing's not as good as yours. Exactly. Throw me a towel, could you, sweetheart? Sure. Funny, funny. The bigger one. There's no film in that camera. I think I'm going to ask you what to deal with the cup. I'm not. Thanks. You read French? A little. It's in English. Dear Mr. Warfield, considering your recent arrival, it has occurred to me that perhaps you might not be prepared for the proper dress for our little party. So I've taken the liberty of sending the clothes for your use. I'm quite certain they'll fit. We'll look forward to meeting you this evening, Marcus August. Sounds like one of the seasons. Sounds like he's got the wrong war field. Don't fight him. Need any help? No thanks, I'm a big boy now. So I know too. Mm. Your unknown French or has good taste. The shoes are from Milan. The jacket's from Algiers. And this is from Rome. And all only slightly used. What's the matter? You mean to say men really wear these things? Oh, Nicholas, where have you been hiding? It's the latest thing. Huh. So I'm finally in style. How do I look? You looked better in a towel. How would you like to help me break the bank at the casino? What about the party? First things first. What do you say? I haven't got a thing to wear. Everything's packed except my travel clothes. I'm catching a plane to Malaga in an hour. You can miss it. Mm, and lose my job. No, and gain experience. I'd love to, but I really can't. Besides, you're a Taurus. I'm a what? A Taurus. You know, in astrology. Ah, oh, how did you guess? I can feel the vibrations. Besides, I'm Virgo. That's an even better reason for you missing that plane. My horoscope said I'd be meeting a Taurus. In a shower? I'm serious. So am I. And I was warned to avoid any complications with him. It is not my month for board. Well, I wouldn't say that. Well, I would. Taurus is in a very unlucky spot. Well, in that case, I wouldn't want to force my cycle on yours. Where can I find you when our stars are more friendly? In sunny Spain, at the Hotel Skull in Marbella. I've got a job teaching water ski. Don't be surprised if I pop up on the end of your tow rope. You won't. Taurus did never come through. This one does. Sorry to hear about your lousy bankers. Come in. You forgot something. Like what? Like my name. How many Virgos can there be teaching water skiing in Marbella? There might be another one, who knows? And I wouldn't want you to make a mistake. Wouldn't you? No. My name's Kina Lund, just to make sure. Okay, Kina Lund Virgo, be seeing you. Can I bet on that?
Monsieur August sent me for you, uh, Monsieur Walton. I am CD. You go tell your boss that he sent for the wrong boy. But thank him for these anyway. Oh, no, 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 sir. You are the man, all right. Monsieur Walton? If I was you... You're not. Oof, some set of wheels. The clock's tick too loud. Where does this Mr. August live, Sidi? Oh, very near, sir. Very near. Very quick with that. Drop me at the casino. Oui, monsieur. Monsieur August say, you come direct to party. No time for casino. Wrong. No time for party. Or oh, shall I get out now? All right, all right. Faites vos jeux. Rien ne va plus. Huit rouges. Faites vos jeux. Rien ne va plus. Douze rouges. <coughs> Faites vos jeux. Faites vos jeux. Faites vos jeux. Rien ne va plus. Quatre rouges. Faites vos jeux. Faites vos jeux. Rien ne va plus. Quatre rouges. Faites vos jeux. Faites vos jeux. Faites vos jeux. Rien ne va plus. 17 noirs. Faites vos jeux. Faites vos jeux. Faites vos jeux. Monsieur Warfield. We go now to party. You got the message, Sidi. We go now.
Mr. Warfield. How good of you to honor us with your presence. I hope you weren't offended by my sending over the clothes. Hmm? Good. Now just make yourself at home. And I'll be with you after I greet the other guests. The bar is over there. C'est détendu, mon cher. Où étiez-vous? Toujours plein de surprises. I'm sorry, I don't speak French. You don't have to play that game with me, André. You've known me too long to distrust me. I'm afraid you're mistaken, sir. My name is Nick Warfield, not André. And mine is now Charles de Gaulle. To tell you the truth, I'm too old to care anymore, André. But I should have thought you'd have been a little more prudent with others instead of old friends, like myself. It worked, Andre. If Colonel Xavier was deceived, so will they be. The old fool hasn't seen me in years. Besides, he's probably still stupefied with opium, as usual. But I'd be fooled too, if I didn't know better. The resemblance is fantastic. There's something I don't like about him. He looks a little belligerent. I can deal with his sort. Stupidity usually goes with belligerents. CD says they were followed here. By one of them? And an incident tonight could get us off to a good start. Wouldn't you say? It's worth a try, Marcus. You'd better not fail me. in the right place. Would you dance with me? Just as a favor, like. The favor's mine, kid. What's the trouble, like? Plenty. I mean, would you sit still while your date spent the whole the entire evening panning over some cheap tramp? The hell you would. Right the hell I would. What would you do? I'd uh, pick up someone else, the same as you're doing. You mean... Two can play that game, right? Right. And there's plenty of other fish in the sea, right? Right again. Nobody's gonna shove yours truly overboard and get away with it. Dance me over that way, okay? You dare embarrass me like that. Your mother? I saw you dancing with that lovely child and didn't want to interrupt your pleasure. I somehow have the feeling it wouldn't have gone far. <laughs> I'd like you to see the gardens. They are lovely. There's a beautiful sight of the Mediterranean. Hmm? 
It's enchanting, wouldn't you say? I sure would. And it's enchanting of you to get me all the way out here to look at it. Hmm. Actually, to be completely truthful, there is something else I had in mind. Oh, no, no, you misunderstand. I have a business proposition to discuss with you. Mr. Warfield, wait. I... I apologize, sir. You mustn't think that I meant... All right, all right. Now, let's just stop running around in circles and get to the point, shall we? It so happens that you look like someone else. A man of considerable importance in the business world. His name is Mr. Jarvis. And he is on the point of concluding a most important contract. As you know, the business world has its little intrigues. And uh, if Mr. Jarvis is seen in certain countries, his competitors could deduce the nature of his business and perhaps underbid him. So our boy pulls off some surprise deal while I lead his competitors a merry chase around Europe, is that it? You catch on fast. One little thing. How do I pass myself off as Jarvis when my passport says I'm Warfield? You want to be traveling as Mr. Jarvis. You will use your own name wherever you go. I don't get it. The people we want to think you are Jarvis are used to him going under a variety of names. And the more you deny your identity, the more they believe you are Jarvis. Complicated, but cute. What you have to do is travel about in luxury for a week or two. And I'll pay you $5,000. Now, what do you think about our little game? I don't like the prize. Oh. It ought to be at least 50000 But it isn't. it over. I'll be back in a moment. Qu'est-ce que tu es arrivé Mais raconte-moi, est-ce que tu es parti Mais... Mais pourquoi tu m'as jamais écrit Quand est-ce que tu es venu ici Mais dis-moi, quand est-ce que tu es arrivé Qu'est-ce que tu as fait Raconte-moi pourquoi tu m'as laissé toute seule ici comme ça. Tu m'as jamais écrit, tu m'as jamais rien dit. Entrez. be embarrassed. I often forget to knock.
tout à l'heure, chérie. What the hell are you doing with my duffel bag? Well, I checked you into the hotel. Why can't I check you out? What do you mean you checked me into my hotel? <laughs> Who did you think did it? And paid your fine as well. Hmm? Your fairy godmother? Now that's a funny crack coming from you. Most of the good things that are going to happen to you, you owe to my generosity. Oh, well, thanks a lot. What did you do with my cup? Your what? My cup, damn it. You forgot my cup. Kalamaka <laughs> Salawawa. He says that since he didn't think you'd have any use for it on your trip, he left it there. Well, I don't want anything to happen to it, okay? Don't worry. He'll be safe. When you get back, he'll be here for you. Now. Are you ready to leave? What if I say no? You won't. A manager of his financial condition doesn't turn down a quick 5,000. There's 10,000 there. You don't miss a thing, do you? I try not to. Mr. Jarvis decided to double the offer. Your ticket for tonight's train to Madrid. What happens when I get to Madrid? You'll be contacted with further instructions. And if I decide not to show up in Madrid? You will regret that decision. Believe me. What do you think, Sidi? Should I believe him? Oh, yes, Monsieur Warfield. I suggest you do very much. Just Nick. They didn't tell me about you. I'm what you call French benefit. You see, Mr. Jarvis never goes anywhere without a traveling companion. At least Mr. Jarvis likes girls. Look, this is just a job. Don't get any wrong ideas. 
I wouldn't dream of it, lady. Yeah. Dinner is being served, monsieur. You're not dressed for dinner, are you, dear? No, I guess she's not. How about having it in here? Certainly, monsieur. Right. You're not dressed for dinner, are you? Not in a public dining car, anyway. That's what I thought. Do I really look that much like him? I, I hardly know him. You mean you were just hired for the job? That's right. By whom? August? Mm -hmm. Did he brief you on me? Only in the relation to the job. And what's that exactly? That we had to work together and follow instructions. You sure it's not to keep an eye on me to see that I don't skip out? Of course not. You're not only beautiful, but you're a damn good actress as well. There must be something wrong with me. I don't believe you. I hope there's nothing wrong with you, Nick. Because we are going to be close to each other for the next couple of weeks. We might as well be friends. Friends or friendly? Is there a difference? I don't kiss friends like that. I'm just doing a job the same as you are. Why? For the money. For money. Please, Nicholas. Don't make it any rougher for me. I won't if you stop playing games. I'm not playing games. All I know is that we have to go to a certain bank in Madrid to pick up expense money. Then wait around to be contacted. That is all there is to it. Honest. Tell me about Jarvis. There's nothing to tell. I can't... I mean, I don't know anything about him. What's the matter, Nick? Why can't you believe that I'm doing this just for the money, the same as you are? Let's be friends. I, I mean, friendly. There's no reason for us to get at each other's throat. Throat's as good a place as any to start on. you a lot of money or you're scared of losing your job relax if we're gonna be friends or even friendly there's one thing you've got to understand I take what I want when I want it I don't like things shoved at me who is it your dinner monsieur due to sharp pain in an unmentionable spot due to not being treated as a lady. Ladies don't usually try and pull a bit like you tried. Do you want to know something? No. What? You are a bastard. <laughs> so I've been told. 
want to know something? I've been lying here thinking. Congratulations. Thanks. And a thought came to me. You want to know what it is? No. It came to me that you're in this thing for something besides money. And that something is, shall we say, your friendship with Jarvis. And not only that, you're afraid of losing it. Hit home, didn't I? You are a real bastard. Step one to a firm friendship. A reservation was made in the name of Warfield. Oh, yes. Mr. Nicholas Warfield and secretary, Senorita Monard. Adjoining rooms, I take it? No. A double room will do. Twin beds, if you have them. May I have your passports, please? Take whatever information you want now. We'll need them at a bank. I would like to talk to you, Mr. Jarvis. I beg your pardon? We could talk on the couch to the right. And if you are unreasonable, my friend is sitting over there, and he... Uh, I think you've got the wrong man. I seek not. Well, Mr. Jarvis, you have kept us waiting a long time. Would you shoot me if I asked you why? Listen carefully. I will give you 24 hours to live up to your contract or return our money. And if you don't, there will be no more talking. We will keep in touch with you. I didn't know you knew anybody in Madrid. Friends of yours? You ought to know. I don't. Your friend Jarvis has such a select group of friends, he doesn't need enemies. I wish I knew what he's cooking up. Anything for Mr. Nicholas Waffle? Yes, I have. You are Mr. Nicholas Waffle? That's right, friend. That's what it says in my passport. Is there anything wrong? No, no. I understand perfectly. If you will just sign these traveler's checks, everything will be in order. Mm -hmm. Here are 600,000 lira. Would you like to count them? No, I wouldn't dream of doubting your word. What's that worth in money? One thousand dollars. Here's another thousand with the traveler's checks. Do you say Italy's our next stop? No. I'll have to beg off on the touring bit. 
These shoes weren't made for walking. Could you get a taxi, please? accident. That was no accident. I recognized the maneuver. How do you know? I read it in a book once. Oh, let's go back to the hotel. I can use a drink. It's a good idea. Got any others? Like what? Like who else is out to kill Jarvis? My 24 hours aren't up yet. No one is out to kill you. Maybe you're right. I must have a persecution complex. Is Marbella far from here? Clear at the other end of Spain. Near Malaga. Why? I hear the water skiing's pretty good there. Nicolas. Can you hand me the soap, please? Is your first time in Europe? Yeah, great experience. Stranded in Italy, jumped in France and almost splattered against the wall in Spain. There was an axe. Who says? You want to take over? My hands are dry. You know, your friend Jarvis leads a very dangerous life for a businessman. What's he really up to? Gun running? Gold smuggling? Or simply stirring up trouble in Africa? You are out of your mind. Or just beginning to find it. Do you always talk in circles like this? Only when I'm trying to figure out why someone's out to kill me. You're right. You do have a prosecution complex. Not only that, I'm in a bad cycle. You're still talking nonsense. Why don't you tell me the truth? What do you want me to do? Write it out for you? You are a big boy now. Figure it out for yourself. But leave me out of it. What's wrong with you? Are you afraid of your friends or something? What makes you say that? Nothing except you act scared to death whenever I mention them. Not that I blame you. Those leftover fanatics play rough. You saw August enough to know he's not a fanatic. Yeah, but I don't know Jarvis. But I do. I bet. You're his mistress, aren't you? What makes you think that I am? Now, don't get mad. It's just a shot in the dark. Well, I was his mistress. Accent and what? Really? What the hell do you want? A letter of recommendation to prove termination of the services? I never quit you when I said I was his mistress. But if you knew him as well as I do, you know that it's not the kind of a job a girl could recommend. I tried to leave him one. And this is what he did to me when he had me brought back. He's not the kind of guy anyone walks out on. Next time, it will be my face. He doesn't want me anymore, but he calls to signal. He promised me I could go if I do this one last job. If I fail... You're sure in a tough spot. Room 503, 
Yeah? Oh, is this Mr. Warfield speaking? That's right. This is the Iberia Airlines calling. Your reservations for Rome have been confirmed, and the tickets can be picked up at the Club Casba as you requested. At the Club Casba? Yes. Oh, yes. The Club Casba. Okay, let's have it. Why do we pick up plane tickets from a club? So that you can be seen by the opposition. Not bad. And someone there will report to someone else where we're going? You're leading me round Europe to set me up as a target, right? No, Nick, no. And is the reward that you get into his good graces and not out of them? You bastard, you... Temper, temper. Let me go! Something from Mr. Warfield? I don't like this place. Jarvis's old buddies? I don't know what you mean. Oh, I think you do. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. Let's catch her act. What for? You want me to be seen, don't you? Who the hell are you? Security police. I know you're an important man, Mr. Warfield. But every time you come to our country, it spells trouble. Now, wait a minute. Don't argue with the policeman, darling. We are leaving Spain tomorrow morning, if that will please you. It does, senorita. Very much. Thanks for the hospitality. Oh, my God. 
I will only take a minute. Take your time. Excuse me. Do you have a map showing the uh, Mediterranean area? When's the next flight for Malaga? There's one just boarding. Two first-class tickets. This should cover the cost. I think we can manage it, sir. But you change. going? Our plane leaves from international. Plans have changed. I don't understand. What's wrong? If you're coming along, keep your mouth shut. Hello. It's me. He's left for Malaga. Am I entitled to any civility yet? No. You might at least tell me why we're going to Malaga. Because nobody's expecting me there. car and meet me outside. Where are you going? To wash my faces, both of them.
movie. Why? Don't argue. Do as I say. then leave the car by your bungalow so I can find you. for a virgin named Kina Lund. Nicholas Warfield. What on earth are you doing in Spain? And behind my towel? It's a long story. Tell me about it. I'll tell you later. Right now, I'm glad to see someone who knows I'm me. What I like best about you is you never make sense. Something wrong? Yes, it's that bad cycle you told me about. Is there any place around here where we won't be seen? Over there.
you translate this for me, I might be able to explain. The whole story is here. Your Mr. Jarvis' real name is Rickelli. Seems he made a deal with the Congo and a couple of other African countries to provide mercenaries. Mostly ex-Foreign Legion dropouts on the land. He then insisted on being paid in gold bullion and then lit out. Now they're all out gunning for him. You mean they're out gunning for me? Oh, what a prize jerk I turned out to be. What about that guy who was stabbed at the railroad station in Nice? What did he have to do with all this? That was probably August's cute way of making them sure that I was Jarvis Rickelli. I think you should go straight out and give your story to the police. Yeah, and I'd get knocked off before they even got it translated. Spain seems lousy with guys anxious to do just that. You know where I can get hold of a boat? Yes, a friend of mine rents them. Why don't you use a car if you want to get away? Because it wouldn't get me to Mallorca. Oh, are we going to Mallorca? Where do you get the we stuff? Two's company. It can be a crowd when there's shooting going on. I don't care. You're not leaving me behind now that I know so much. Okay. Get the boat. We'll argue later. I've got something to settle with Jacqueline. And remember, three is even more of a crowd. Kelly. Uh, Where, Jacqueline? Uh, in Gibraltar. On, on, on August. Oh, the Nice job. You've got good friends. Gooder than you think. We can sail now and pay later. Perfect. What are we going to do when we get to Mallorca? Nothing. We're going to Gibraltar. To Gibraltar? What for? That's where Kelly is. How'd you find that out? Jacqueline told me. Ah, she finally decided to level with you, huh? She had no choice. She was dying. Oh, Nick. The guy who did it. Well, I left his body in her bungalow. I'll go and see if there's something to drink back there. Good girl. I don't want to get in before dark. Nick, put it on automatic. I want to talk to you. What are you going to do when we get in? I'll decide then. Nicholas Warfield, are you out of your mind? You've got a hundred men gunning for you already. Do you want to make it a hundred and one? 
Relax, darling. We can come out of this rich. Or dead. Shame on you. Anyway, what makes you think we're going to come out of this rich? By convincing Rakelli, or maybe August, to share some of their loot. Okay. As I'm in this too, what's my cut? You stay on board this thing, contemplating your zodiac like a good little girl, and I'll let you know when I come back. I've given up on astrology. No kidding. I've got something much better to think about. the one. That's the venture. The venture looks like it's been abandoned. That's something I'm going to find out right now. Let me go with you, Nick. Not a chance.
Mr. Garfield, what a most unexpected surprise. You're the one who told me to travel. Were you too content with the itinerary I chose for you? Yeah, until some people started trying to kill me. <laughs> That's understandable. But I can't imagine why you expect it to be any safer here. Have it. I bet I can guess what's in there. Rickelli's payoff, right? Come, come, Nicolas. <laughs> that would be daring, wouldn't it? Oh? I suppose you'll welch on my ten grand, too. Oh, you are an amusing boy. <laughs> what a pity we never got to know each other better. You can always dim Rickelli's bed lamp and pretend it's me. <laughs> now you are being catty, Nicolas. Have it. What about Rickelli? He might not like what you're planning. In a moment, you can ask him what he thinks about it. Mr. Wolfgang, Mr. Rickett. As you see, with two dead Rickellis, there can be no possible doubt left in anyone's mind. Since the real one's dead, I don't see the point of killing me. Come now, Nicolas. Of course you do. With two million dollars in gold aboard my boat, I can't take any chances. In my place, you do the same, wouldn't you?
How did you get here? With him. Who's he? I'm with him before. I've been on your tail since you left Nice. I don't get it. Well, I'd seen enough of Riquelli to know you were not him. So my hunch was to stick close to you, and eventually you take me to the gold. And it paid off. Ah, uh, you're the one that helped me out of that joint in Madrid. <laughs> Had to protect my interest, didn't I? You were no good to me, Dad. They're all not fair, unfortunately. But we must be grateful for what we've got, mustn't we? Where do you think the rest is? Who knows? But I'm content to have this to turn over to the government and end this long chase. Well, thanks for saving my life. If I'm not needed round here, I think I'll take off. I have to thank you too. If you ever need me again? Well, I'll be leaving. I have a boat to return to a friend. We can return the boat tomorrow, you know. We're not going to our boat. We're going to August's boat. What on earth for? For gold, sweetheart. The missing crates are on board waiting for us. Oh, Nick, we'll never get away with it. Who says? They don't know where it is, and besides, I deserve it. A sort of agent's fee. Come on. <laughs> Imagine what? The launch. We've got to return it. We'll buy your friend a new one. Nick, what are you doing? We've got to go back. Back where? To Nice, damn it. I almost forgot my cup. <laughs> <laughs> 